are you going to be singing for us tonight? I'm singing an original song called It's Okay. It's Okay. Yeah. It is. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. What is It's Okay about? Uh, it's Okay is the story of the last year of my life. All right. Sing for us. Good luck. Nightbird. In the summertime I changed my name thinking that it would change my mind I thought that all my problems they would stay behind I was a stick of dynamite and it just was a matter of time, yeah But I burned them all Yeah, I burned them all I blow through yellow lights And don't look back at all I don't look back at all Oh, dang, oh my Now I can't hide Said I knew what I wanted But I guess I lied It's okay, it's okay It's okay, it's okay If you're lost, we're all a little lost And it's alright It's okay, it's okay because singers come on and, and, I, and I think about authenticity. You know, when you feel it, when it moves you, that felt like the most authentic thing I have heard this season. That was surprising to you. It was powerful, it was heartfelt, and I think you're amazing. You gave me chills. I mean, your voice is so beautiful to listen to. It was beautiful all the way around. Your voice is stunning. Mm -hmm. It is. Absolutely stunning. And I, I totally agree with what Howie said, you know, about authenticity. There was something about that song after the way you just almost casually told us what you're going through and, oh, you know. You can't wait until life isn't hard anymore before you decide to be happy. And Mandy, what are you going to sing? I'm going to uh, sing a song that I wrote called Try. OK, can you tell me what it's about? After I lost my hearing, I gave up. But I want to do more with my life than just give up. So. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. OK, well, look, this is your moment, and good luck. Uh, OK.
I don't think you're going to need a translator for this. Trust me, I needed you today. I mean, that was fantastic. Amazing. I love you. And I love the choreography going on around you. I mean, it was just brilliant. Let me ask you a question. Have you been trying to get a record deal or a big break? Or, I mean, tell me. We've been trying to break into Nashville for the last couple of years, but it's been kind of hard when I think country music doesn't always look like us. And so... You know what you're going to do sometimes? You've just got to break down that door. And you may have just broken down the door with that performance, trust me. Howie, I was looking at your face, you were loving it. First of all, not, I believe you broke down the door. I love the song, I love the energy, I love the look. You say country music doesn't look like you. That is your win, because you are going to be the original. Heidi. Your joy is infectious, and everything that you're giving, like, it's received over here, and I loved it. Sophia. Everything was perfect, the song, the energy. 
You guys look like you've been doing this for a long time, and I'm so proud of you guys. Who's always there when I need you? Saving every day. Who always comes to my rescue? Whenever I'm afraid. Who's the one that truly loves me? Like no. I think we finally met Ashley. <laughs> I can't tell you how important that is. Thank you so much. You now have three very, very well-deserved yeses. When I get pasta at a restaurant and the waiter comes around with the Parmesan cheese and he says, Parmesan, and I say, please. He gives me a spoonful and says, would you like more? And I say, sure, as if it's no big deal, as if it's not my reason for choosing an Italian restaurant in the first place. <laughs> he looks at me and says, is that good? Yeah, that's good, thanks. I always want more Parmesan, but I'm embarrassed. I always want more Parmesan, but I'm embarrassed. That's me! Why are they so stingy? Is there a shortage of Parmesan? Is it really that expensive? I just want more cheese. Is that so wrong? Just leave it at the table. Sake. I'm a grown-up, I have rights, and I will not be shamed for my cheese intake. I always want more Parmesan in Paris. I will not remain silent, I will not give in. I will die before I let Big Parma win. Beautiful. What I a... feel the same way. 
beautiful lyric. I always lyric. want more Parmesan. Thank I was you. right there. I know, I know. Why I are they so stingy on the Parmesan? Parmesan. What? It's disgusting. What? No. Uh, I don't know why I'm even having this conversation anyway, because I don't like Parmesan. I don't like your song. So I'm saying no. I mean, what do you think? I got to say, I didn't, I didn't love it. Sophia. It's a no. I don't know what was happening. Wow. Oh, my God. tonight. Yeah, so with posting content on the internet, it inevitably comes the trolls. <laughs> and so I thought I would take the hate comments from my YouTube videos and turn them into a song. That's a good idea. Wow. <laughs> Thank you. So tonight, yeah. you're going to take ugliness and make it beautiful. I can't wait to hear the song. Thank you. Go ahead. So trash, her voice is very bad, bad, very, very bad, very, 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 very bad.
time a loser He likes his life of illusion I got a bad reputation Like the rest of my generation Don't concentrate I just want to start. I just think you're a star. I think looping is so cool. Thank you. The fact that you're playing every instrument. I could watch a concert. I could watch you doing this. I, I just love what you did. Heidi, what do you think? I thought it was a lot of fun. One woman show. Yeah. 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 Okay. Sophia? I think you're one of the coolest girls that's been standing in that stage. Simon? I think Mia, you know, look, it was at times a bit, a, a bit of a mess, but then again, it should be. You know, it's kind of like it's all done in the moment, so therefore it's not perfect, but it shouldn't be perfect, which is why I loved it so much. Thank you. I'd rather listen to somebody like you who's original and talented rather, rather than someone who comes with some horrible backing track and <laughs> sings a song I've heard a million times. This year, it's all about originality. I can do that. We're gonna vote really quickly. I'm giving you your first yes. Thank you. I give you a second yes. Thank you. I love you, yes. <laughs> Thank you. The yes just genius, Mia. Absolutely genius for you. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. In life, moments come and go. Take your shot, or you'll never know. Your heart will tell you when it's time to move. Ask yourself what you got to lose. When it storms, when it rains. Falls on all of us the same, but after today, the world's gonna know my name. Everybody backstage, please don't be scared. Cause up close, Simon looks just like a teddy bear. A couple steps up off the stage, watch how far that I go. And I'ma feed my fam with this, and there's no bullshit. Jack-Jack, and now I'm standing on this stage here at AGT. Dreams do come true, and you can take it from me. Just one man who has drive, determination in my eyes. If they don't say that I worked hard for this, trust me, they lied. Make the crowd say, oh yeah, knock it out like they lie. I'm all about pushing the limits, not about pushing papers. Do you feel me? America, can you hear me? This young man's out here chasing dreams. I hope you see that clearly. My entire future, man, I put it on the line. Hey, so I gotta make it now before I'm out of time. In life, moments come and go. Take a shot, or you'll never know. Your heart will tell you when it's time to move. Ask yourself what you got to lose. When it storms, when it rains, it falls on all of us the same. But after today, the world's gonna know my name. Man, I feel blessed. This is crazier than I thought, man. <laughs> is your family here tonight? Yeah, 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 they're right. 
a big family. I grew up in a blended family, but they all played a major part in me growing up. I just want to thank all you guys. You guys raised a dreamer, man, and we're doing it. Listen, dreams come true on this stage, and I'm, I think we're seeing your dream come true. I'm sorry I look like a punk up here right now. I'm a punkette, then, yeah. because I am literally crying as well. Yeah. yeah. There's a new generation with millennials and like putting out there what is good in this world. And I believe you are so good. Thank and you so much. <laughs> I'm a fan. Do I do this? Do I do this? <laughs> I love it. Simon? You know, you got the best reaction for doing nothing we've ever had on this show. Like, you got a standing ovation before we even performed. Yeah. And I'm thinking. <laughs> Am I like one step behind here? And I said to Jill, is this serious or not? And I think it is. <laughs> I tell you what, the whole world should go to your school right now. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> you've got amazing energy, I've got to tell you. Thank you, Simon. And I like your voice as well. I think you've got Thank a great you. tone. I uh, might not be the best singer in the world, but man, I love to perform. No, but I love you. I love you. Look, Joseph, first impressions to me are everything. And watching the reaction you got before you even started, like I said, was astonishing. That was an amazing audition. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. From the moment you walked out, your smile is electric. Thank you know, you. and you walked out with such exuberance and such, and, and that's what life is. You know, life is a series of moments. People at home are talking about this moment. People in this room are talking about this moment. People no! just want this moment to happen. Now you said you want to leave a footprint. Well, I'm going to give you the footprint you need to leave. What's your name, please? My name is Lily Mayola. I'm a singer-songwriter. Okay, and how old are you? I'm 27. And what makes you different from all the thousands of other people trying to get, you know, noticed at the moment? The song I'm gonna do today is an original song that I wrote, and it's called Daydream. And it's kind of evolved over the past couple years, the meaning of it for me. Which is? I wrote it at a time in my life when things were really beautiful and I was essentially living my daydream. I had a major label record deal. I had a publishing deal. I had butterflies I was hatching. It was just, it was magical. It was just so beautiful. And I wanted other people to be able to feel that. And so that's where it originated. And then my life flipped upside down and my mom was diagnosed with cancer, and I became her full-time caretaker. I lost my record deal during that, but I think maybe it was a bit of a blessing because it gave me some extra time to really be there for her. Well, is she okay? No, she passed away. I'm sorry, Lily. It's okay. <laughs> I really told myself I wasn't gonna cry. Um, it's all right. Um, she was my biggest cheerleader, and... Lily, uh, I have to ask you this. Um, are you okay to do this audition? I don't know how I'm gonna be able to make it through a song without crying. <laughs> but, you know, singing was something my mom and I really connected with, and... It's how I fell in love with music in the first place, her playing music in the car. So I'm just trying to make her proud and continue to live my daydream. Good for you. Okay, well, best of luck. We're rooting for you, Lily. Stop it, called us unrealistic And 
Suddenly you're 18 Go to college for your plan B What you want is too risky Live for weekends and whiskey We all got these big ideas One day they're replaced with fears How did we get here? Darling, don't quit your daydream It's your life that you make Big enough if it doesn't scare the hell out of you. If it makes you nervous, it's probably worth it. Why save it for sleep when you could be living your daydream? So scared of failure that we fail to try. Turning around before the finish line. Gotta fall for a minute before you can fly. your life that you're making it ain't big enough if it doesn't scare the hell out of you if it makes you nervous it's probably worth it save it for sleep when you could be living your daydream or save it for sleep when you should be living your daydream First of all, you have a, a, a beautiful voice, and uh, I, I could feel the emotion. And you know, you told us a story before you sang the song about this time in your life when things were perfect and you hatched butterflies, <laughs> you know? And this moment right now, you are that butterfly on the way. I think your mother was watching you tonight. And the way you were like, feeling what you were doing, that what it was so special about your performance, and I really enjoyed that song. But you didn't, you didn't put anything out when you had a deal? No. You didn't? No. Okay, so you never really tested the no, waters, yeah. have you? Mm -mm. Okay. I haven't, um, yeah, this is my first time putting music out, and I just went for it. There is something special about you. You know, everything you've been through, you told us about, you know, and I'm sure those memories came flooding back to you during that, that audition, and you're thinking, I've still got to get through the song. And I know you've gone through a very difficult period. I think the fact that you've come back after what you've gone through, it says a lot about you, Lily, so good for you. to say I'm like speechless you know like sometimes you have someone on the stage and you hear their voice and just everything about you you just light up I see a light around you and I don't know I like immediately I fell in love with you and for this season season 17 I was like there's always a lot of singers on the stage and I was like I want to give someone else a shot but I can't help it because I really really like you so I'm gonna do this I'm gonna push this little buzzer for you
Your name again is uh, Bona Vega. Let me hear. Let me start with uh, Howie. When you came out with the makeup and you didn't talk and you opened and I see you wearing is that Miley Cyrus's outfit? Who is it? it? Should be right. Yeah, but when I saw you wearing that, I thought this is going to be a joke. And you are so far this season my biggest surprise. Wow. I had no idea. Yes. Thank you. I mean, it's rock and roll. It's camp. It's theater. It's the, the and and you have a mullet. I'm not, I'm not trying to rub it in, you know. <laughs> uh, Heidi. I just love everything about you. I really do. I mean, Thank you, you just blew my mind. I also love that you don't really overthink what you're wearing or how you look. You don't think that's overthought? <laughs> I think you really thought. You don't, what that you doesn't seem underthought. This, outfit, this outfit's for you, okay? I love it. I love everything about you. And you sang fantastic on top of it. Thank you so much. Full package. Truly, thank you. <laughs> Sophia. Um, I have to say it was a surprise for me too. Um, is there a reason for the muscles? <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I, I learned from Terry, so let's be honest. Yes. <laughs> oh, you got it. You got this. Yeah, we got to know a lot about you during that performance. <laughs> yes. Staying too long at the honky tonk, spending too much just to tie one on. Little less right and a lot more on. Sounds like something I do. Calling in sick when the fish are biting, taking those curves with the gravel flying, keeping one eye on the next horizon. Sounds like something I do. I never had a reason, girl, to go around looking for a fire to walk through. Ain't like me to want somebody rearranging all my want to. I ain't kind of settled down and let myself get wrapped around somebody's finger, but if I had to. Sounds like something I do My truck get it pushed and ate it Picking you up and later maybe Getting one kiss and going half crazy Sounds like something I do I never had a reason, girl, to go around Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> well, that's pretty good. That's an original, right? Uh, yes, sir, it is. I think that song's a hit. Thank you. And I think that you're a hit. You're like the new Elvis of country. I think you're going to break out from this particular song, this particular moment, on this particular night. Thank you very much. Thank you. You guys are a, a band. We don't have a lot of bands yet, you know, this season, so I think you are perfect for America's Got Talent. The perfect combination. The song was amazing. You are amazing. And I think America's gonna go crazy. The girls are going crazy. <laughs> Sometimes when we get bands on the show, for whatever reason, it just really honestly does sound like a mess from the minute it starts. With you, it was the opposite. I think this performance should make a difference to what you're doing, because people are going to like you. The song uh, was really, really good as well. It was really authentic. That's what I liked about it, because um, I know so much about country music. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, listen, for me, a good song is a good song, and everything worked everything. for you today. And you're very likable. We haven't got to know the rest of you yet, but I'm sure you are. They are. They are. To get found in the notion of people, please don't ask me any. I don't know my name. I don't play by the rules of the game. So you say I'm just trying, just trying. I now know. show about surprises and you use the word miracle and I think you are a living beautiful walking miracle your original the people not knowing your name is so right and so wrong because I think the world is gonna know your name I think right now they're gonna know your name because you are going right now. Hey baby, you don't have to live this way You don't have a debt to pay So put your foot down and pick your heart up Off the ground That's not where you belong And I can prove that without this song But for now, just play along I know you've been hurt by the way that he talks to you Hurt by the way that he fights with you No, no hurt by the way that he loves you I know you've been hurt by the way that he talks to you Hurt by the way that he fights with you No, no hurt by the way that he loves you Yeah, yeah, now I know a lot of girls in this life will end up with the wrong guy tonight But I really wanna prove a point to this young girl right here, let's fight He got his fist ready, I got my pen ready But I write something so heavy it'll bust up his brand new Chevy, man, man Excuse of a man Take these girls with sweet talk And then beat them down like trash talk Girls, please, listen to me, please I know you, I know you, I know you I know you've been hurt by the way that he talks to you Hurt by the way that he fights with you Ooh, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, I know you've been hurt by the way that he talks to you Hurt by the way that he fights with you No, no, hurt by the way that he loves you by the way that he loves you. Is it going to be a song we know? Is it an original? Uh, I will be singing uh, a song that I wrote and it's just about some hard times, uh, and if I could go back and change those things, I wouldn't, because they made me me. Wow. Well, I cannot wait to hear. Good luck. I still remember 
were that kid afraid to open the door And now she's grown and she doesn't keep that fear anymore It was kept in a box and it locked and she held the key But now the box is locked and the key is nowhere to be seen But what if I could go back in time And change the way I felt about my life Oh, but then would I still have inside Everything that brought me back to life I still remember that kid wanting to be more But now she knows that she's worth more than what she's been told She tried her best to be best and just forget the rest But the rest is the best and it's what you get So just let go But what if I could go back in time And change the way I felt about my life Oh, but then would I still have inside Everything that brought me to life really emotional what are you what are you thinking it's just crazy I couldn't there were times when I was a kid where I was like like I can never do anything like this like I'm not good enough Good enough doesn't explain what we just heard. It's not only good, it's great. And look how you're moving this audience. And I believe you're moving millions of people right now at home. I just want to say thank you. What did you think, Heidi? You have a really, really beautiful voice. I love your voice. There's a fire inside of you and I want to see more of it. I loved it. I thought it was so authentic. Thank you for having the gods to follow your heart. Amazing, Amanda. I mean, come on. I mean, look, it's, I mean, you spoke to us very honestly about the issues you have with your speech, and it's terrifying auditioning when you don't have an issue like that. And then you were amazing. I mean, your voice is so pure, so beautiful, and also you're a good songwriter, and I think you're an incredible person. I'm so happy you came here. Torture me. She wants to know what stuff's inside that's tearing me. Up into the pieces on the floor, you see. I don't have an answer for you now. And I'll find a reason Tell me what makes, tell me what makes you shine Tell me what makes, tell me what makes you shine Amazing! Tell me what makes, tell me what makes you shine Oh, tell me what makes, tell me what makes you shine I wouldn't break your heart If I was you, I'd fall apart Next to this beating, bruising arm On a wall
Heidi. I mean, if Rod Stewart and John Mayer had a baby. <laughs> Those are my parents. It's like, what? <laughs> I mean, special. Thank you very much. Very, very special, guys. Thank you. It was so different and sexy. And you know what? I think this is your moment, Sam. Thank you. Thank you very much. You know what's great, Sam, is that it was really authentic. You were very honest with us as well. We got to know you really quickly, and it was like you swallowed a great singer. Because, you know, the way you talk, it's like, it's like there's somebody else in you. Thank you very much. Thank you. OK, I know how this is going to go, but we've got to do it. Heidi. I mean, you're really special. Yes, 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 Thank yes, you. yes, yes. Sophia. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> You've got three yeses, you're through to the next round. What's the song and what's it about? It's about our mother who passed away from cancer about two years ago. And it's a song written from her perspective, kind of talking to us in like her last month. Wow. Oh, well, listen, best of luck, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Tell me that 
Beautiful comes to mind. Absolutely amazing. I mean, you just have that gift and you are gorgeous on top of your gorgeous voice. I mean, you have the whole package. Thank you so much. I thought that your voice was much more than beautiful. I thought it was spectacular. I couldn't have liked it more. Thank you. Camille, I really like you. I think you know, as with all artists, it's about finding the song that defines you, you know, and going forward, if you go forward, that is the key. Thank you. All right, get a vote. Heidi? I love you. I give you a big, fat yes! <laughs> of course, yes! Well, you got three yeses. Thank you so much! What are you going to be singing for us tonight? Tonight it's a song called Lost that I wrote um, right out of treatment. It's the first song I wrote sober. So. Oh. <laughs> Tell me what this song means to you. The hook of the song is Lost for the Last Time. Um, it's about somebody who thinks that they don't deserve anything because of the things they've done. I hope that it connects with you all. That, that'll be the real win for me. <laughs> We're all sitting here and we want to be connected. That's so. awesome. Thank you. Good luck. Where'd you go today? Sometimes it's like you're so far away. Then I'm reminded how it used to feel to wonder if the pain was even real. I'm awakened now, but I don't know how. Goes nothing. 
My mother would say you have an old soul. You know, I could look at you and, and hear your music and think there's a lot of stories behind you. I feel like we're looking directly into your heart. I mean, Thank it you. really, really is touching. Yes. Yes. Thank you. There's a lot of great acts tonight. There's a lot of great acts. You're worthy of going through, but this is so much harder now because, as you know, only seven are going through. So I wish you the best of luck. Even though I loved your first audition, in a weird way, I liked you even more today because it was so bare, so raw, and so honest. You just want people to be yourself, and that's why I think we all related to you right from the beginning, you know. And my only advice I can give to you is just don't listen to anyone other than yourself. Trust yourself. Oh my God. See you later. Well done. Thank you. Good job. So, do you write your own songs? I do write my own songs. Have you got one with you? Sure. It's called Disengage. And what's it about? Um, I wrote this song last semester in the fall. Um, I went through a lot of depression during that time. Oh. And I wrote this song trying to get through that. And I hope that it can resonate with you. OK. Thank you, Karen. Yeah. amazing it was spectacular i could feel the emotion and i could tell you're nervous but you are a star young man <laughs> thank you Heidi. there is like a certain melancholy in your voice when you sing it was beautiful you know you take it for granted when you see someone sing and play at the piano but it's so hard to do and you are so good at it wow thank you so much thank you Kieran, you're a very, very, very interesting person because you're very talented. And from what you told us, it sounds like people have been giving you a hard time. And I think, uh, you know, when I was starting off in the music business, there were other kids, boys, 
It would taunt me because I was in the mailroom. It was like, okay, well, I didn't have a college degree, but I just made my way through it. But it still is in my head now. And I think what you're going through is not dissimilar. You know, it, it plays on your mind. You get depressed. But I didn't have the talent you've got because you're a great singer. I really liked your original song. And I really do hope this audition can change your life. Thank you. In so many ways. Okay, we've got to vote now. Uh, let me start with you, Howie. Well, it's a yes. <laughs> Sophia. Yes. Heidi. It's a yes from me. Kieran, you've got, I'm going to work out over 3,000 yeses. <laughs> I'm going to present to you the roast of Simon Cowell. Oh. <laughs> Please welcome to the stage the king of the nerds, Don McMillan. Oh, so I got into my comedy labs. I did a big data analysis, right? I looked at Simon's likes and dislikes, and I charted them, because I'm me. And so here we go. We'll start with his dislikes. Uh, number one, PowerPoint. If I'd known that, I would have gotten something completely different in my audition. 3% likability, that's really not likable. Uh, number two, uh, shaving. The man does not own a razor, right? No, maybe you do shave, you're just so masculine, the minute you finish, boom, the hair pops back out. Uh, at 1%, Parmesan cheese. <laughs> Parmesan, Parmesan. Uh, clowns, if you know, he hates clowns. He, I, I can't even stay on this slide. And finally, the biggest dislike, minus 6% is uh, falling off a bike. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Sorry. Too, too soon? Have you thought about training wheels? That's all I'm saying. That's all. <laughs> yes. So Sophia. You, you did so much magic in two and a half minutes that I don't even know what I was seeing. You made me believe in magic. This is amazing. This was better than your audition. And I really want to know what Simon thinks. Simon, did he win you over? I think I helped you. I do. I really, really do. I the think magic that of Simon. no, by me saying no at the auditions, I think has pushed you to be a better magician. <laughs> and I'm very happy to say, on live television, I am officially an idiot. Yeah! No. <laughs> Howie! You don't want to give a standing ovation to to Howard Stern. Because I think you made the best choice. It this is. is probably the best wild card. Uh, please, Nobody please, has done please, better. Hug it out. Please, 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 Hug it out. Please, 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 They're going to kiss please, on live please, TV. Please, 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 please. They were arguing. Oh! I think I see tongue. There was tongue involved. Magic is definitely in the air. Oh my God! Oh. You did it! Times, oh. Howie. Oh. You both did it! They kissed on live television. Where's my wife? <laughs> and it... Hi, my name is Vanessa, and I'm from South Pasadena. My question for Simon is, what animal do you think you look like the most? I think it's a lemur. And I remember seeing a nature program once, and I thought, that actually looks like me. Sophia, the chihuahua that you posted this morning on your Instagram story, is that yours? And do you have more? <laughs> I have two chihuahuas in my life. Oh, one oh. is my son, and the other one oh, was oh. supposed to be my dog, but she hates me and loves my husband, and she's a very bad dog. Oh, oh. And we have a question for Heidi. I would love to know what her most embarrassing moment is. I have four children, and I would say to them, everything I do is embarrassing. Ah! What's up, Darcy? Hey. I'm looking for a partner, you know? Maybe we can do something. You do ventriloquism? What? Oh, do I? Bam! That wasn't even me who said that. Is that a sock? No, it's not. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, Z, D, E, L, M. You're moving your Come on. You can do better. Why are you being me? You're still moving your mouth. You don't even know what I'm talking about or nothing. This is never going to work. Awkward. 
So if you had to be on a desert island for the rest of your life with either me or mummy, who would it be? Why? Why? <laughs> like father, like son. Are you trying to do my job? Are you? What do I do? Ooh. That is my job. Maybe you need a little better choreography. Yeah, I was disappointed, sorry. I always want more parmesan, but I'm in Paris. I always want more parmesan, but I'm in Paris. Beautiful. What I feel the same way. I always lyric. want more Parmesan. Thank I was you. right there. I know, I know. Why I are they so stingy on the Parmesan? Parmesan. What? It's disgusting. What? No. Uh, I don't know why I'm even having this conversation anyway, because I don't like Parmesan. I don't like your song. So I'm saying no. I gotta say, I didn't, I didn't love it. Sophia, it's a no. I don't know what was happening. Wow. Oh my God. Pour me shot. Pour me shot. Pour me shot. Pour me shot. No. We. I, I want to say this from from my heart here. Uh, what you have done for the show. And as a friend, as one of the most amazing people I've ever worked with, oh, wow. I wanted to pay you a tribute to show your significance and, most importantly, your importance for the 10 years you've been on the show. Over to you, Terry. Hey, it's out on Sunset Boulevard, OK? Let's take what? a look. Here Sunset we go. Boulevard. Count it down with me, people. Where am I looking? Five, four. Oh. Three, two, one! And that didn't sit well with a lot of people online. Right. Uh, right. How do you respond to that? Um, I'm not responding to them. You but, should apologize. <laughs> you know what? The competition was brutal. The, and, and last night, we had the highest of highs and then some incredible, for me, personal disappointments. And we are here, and we are all paid, to be honest. I am brutally honest. That's why it was brutal. Good luck to everyone. But you sometimes are also grumpy. I'm not grumpy. Yeah, okay. <laughs> and also, I'm, I'm yeah. translating. She said grumpy. Okay. Well, you they know what? Me. This is a good sign. Listen, <laughs> Sophia, a lot of the judges, you guys disagreed on a lot of the acts last night. Why do you think that was? Um, well, we, well, first of all, we have different tastes. And we, we all have the same taste. Some of them <laughs> don't know what, they, <laughs> what, they, what they're supposed to know. Uh, I know everything grumpy? we know. <laughs> How is grumpy yeah. sometimes, and Simon is sometimes loco, so it, there's nothing. No, I admit it. I do admit it. <laughs> no. Hey, Heidi. Your hand binoculars are ridiculous. Stop it. You don't understand. They're not binoculars. Yes, they are. No. What it does, it takes the light outside from it makes the outside, sense. and it gets darker around, and then I can actually see better. I need to my glasses. To focus into some parts yes, sometimes. Exactly. So it's not it so bright. Make sense. Because when it's so bright, I can't see what they're doing, and I need to judge. So my family and I are watching AGT, and my dad says, "Is Beyonce always on this? It's Tyra Banks." <laughs> Or is it? Blue Ivy, Blue Ivy, sit down right now. Mama got to host this show, Blue. AGT made Simon Cowell so soft. Yes, for me. 
I'm on Simon the Savage back. The one who crushed dreams and made people cry for fun. <laughs> off. <laughs> <laughs> I got it. That is Heidi having lunch. Feel it's Heidi chewing something? Heidi chewing chips. Sounds like a hamster is eating something. Oh my gosh, it's the guy crushing the nuts with his butt cheeks. Mr. Cherry, I love him. <laughs> it was hard. It really hurt. Can I introduce you to Mr. Grumpy? I have it. You wow. want to meet him? Yes. This is Mr. Grumpy. Oh my gosh, Mr. Grumpy. Hi, Mr. Grumpy. It's so nice to meet you. Oh, hi, Darcy. Hi, Sophia. I wow. haven't seen you in a long time. You look beautiful. You look young every day. So how, how long have you, how long have you been doing? Oh, I've done it for 11 years. 11 Can years. You dance? Wow, it's amazing. Mr. Grumpy would get along well with my friend Edna. Edna, Edna, where are you? Hi. Oh, oh hi, Edna. You are very old. What? You're very old. What? Old. Hello, darlings. Sophia, I don't just like Edna. I love Edna. Moving, I can do this too. He's moving his lips. There was, you know, we were deliberated a lot about whether we put you through to the final. I think Howie in particular didn't want you to be here. Ah, yes. And no. I said, no, you know what? No. I don't care what you say, Howie. No. They're going through to the finals. And you know what? I was right. And you know what I love about you? <laughs> it's different. And it's yeah. difficult. Okay. And I like people who take that moment. And you took that moment. And we're going to remember yeah. you. For me, yeah. best act of the night. Only two are going through, remember. You've got to vote. Howie Canada represent. Yeah, he's a liar, eh? <laughs> no, he's I'm a not. real liar, eh? The only la, thing I'm mad at la, is la, that you worked la, on la, Canada's la, Got la, Talent. La, you would have won la, Canada's la, Got Talent. La, la, you guys are so fucking good. <laughs> we got another question from Zach, who is a big male B fan. What's your question, Zach? Hey, <laughs> Rip. It's like, his, it's like his first time online. <laughs> <laughs> Sit back, young man. He's excited. Thank you so much. Hi, Girl Power, Melanie. My question is, <laughs> what exactly does off the chain mean? It means that I'm really, really excited good. about the act, and I think it's, like, amazing. So I say it's off the chain, as in, like, wowzer. <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> like, <laughs> the definition of off the chain is wowzer. Yeah. You know what I mean? He understands. He gets it. I do. <laughs> Great job, Zach. <laughs> the password is magic. Did you okay. just look? No. Not at the... Are no. you guys talking? No. <laughs> Freak. Magic. Yeah! Yes! Yes! Magic is the correct <laughs> word. <laughs> Who heard him tell me the word? That's that cheating. That means that you were cheating already. <laughs> him, They're him cheating him him because him. they heard you <laughs> cheated. Yes. All right, nice. this is the I'm final sweating. clue. The we clue? are actually tied at the moment, <laughs> and we are going to start with Howie. The okay. password is... Ready? Million. Dollars. Million. Oh! He's right! Thank That's you very it. much. Snack 